the day we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, December 22, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Orlando Magic vs Atlanta Hawks. Orlando is averaging 101.4 points per game. They scored 100 points in their last game, making 41.5% of their field goals and 32.3% of their three-pointers. Robin Lopez led the way for the Magic with 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 4 assists. Gary Harris finished with 17.7 rebounds and 5 assists, while Chuma Akaki added 15 points and 6 rebounds. Cole Anthony is listed as questionable due to an ankle injury. Wendell Carter Jr., Jalen Suggs, Terrence Ross, and Mo Bamba have been ruled out after testing positive for COVID-19. Orlando has struggled defensively, giving up 111.3 points per game. They gave up 93 points in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to win this game. The Orlando Magic are a terrible team and they are dealing with a lot of injuries, however the Atlanta Hawks team that they will be facing on Wednesday night are not the Atlanta Hawks that went to the Eastern Conference Finals last season. Better yet, they aren't even the same Atlanta Hawks that are only 14-15 to 15 this season. Our first betting advice is to pick Orlando Magic plus 8. Although most casual or even serious fans are unlikely to recognize many of the players that Atlanta will have in the lineup Wednesday, the game is still very important. Atlanta is currently 11th in the Eastern Conference, but only one game out of the fifth spot. The top players for Atlanta not listed on the injury report are John Collins, 17.2 ppg, 7.9 rebounds, and Cam Reddish, who averaged 11.1 points and a team-best 1.0 steals per game. Ironically the Magic did snap a seven-game losing streak the last time they took the floor, defeating an also depleted Brooklyn Team 193 as a five-point dog. The Nets did not have Kevin Durant, James Harden, LaMarcus Aldridge, or Joe Harris in the loss, and of course, Kerry Irving is yet to play this season. Robin Lopez led the Magic with 20 points and 10 rebounds in the win over Brooklyn. Gary Harris was next with 17 points, followed by Chuma Akaki with 15 points, and Franz Wagner with 14 points and 11 rebounds. The Magic shot 41.5% from the floor and 32.3% from three in the win. Our second betting advice is to pick under the total. Quick reminder, if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Cleveland Cavaliers vs Boston Celtics. With their win on Saturday, the Cavaliers improved to 19-12 moved into a virtual tie with Chicago for first place in the Central Division, a half game ahead of Milwaukee. Cleveland won a total of 19 games two years ago during Garland's rookie season, and the Cavaliers didn't win number 19 last year until April 8 en route to a 22-50 finish. It's been a special season for this young Cavs team. We're looking at a battle of attrition as both teams are missing nearly half their normal rotation heading into this one. That means we're going to see a lot of guys that you're not necessarily used to being on the floor for long stretches of this contest. With that said, Cleveland has been on a roll with six straight victories on the books, including that emphatic drubbing of the Bucks on the road in their last game. Boston has dropped five of their last seven games coming into this one, and they have had their struggles on both ends of the floor. Our first betting advice is to pick Cleveland Cavaliers plus six. For the season, the Celtics are 14th in the league in scoring offense, with an average of 108.3 points per game. Boston is 10th in the league in rebounding with 45.6 boards per contest, while they stand 21 stint assists by handing out 22.6 assists per game. The Celtics are 15th in the league in scoring defense, as they allow 107.3 points per contest. Jalen Brown is second on the team, with an average of 21.8 points, plus 5.3 rebounds per contest. 
Jason Tatum contributes 25.9 points plus 8.6 rebounds per contest, Robert Williams 3 chips and 9.3 points, 8.2 rebounds plus 1.7 blocks a night, and Josh Richardson adds 10.7 points per game. Al Horford, 12.2 points, 7.8 rebounds, and Grant Williams, 7.5 points, are other frontcourt options. Dennis Schroeder, 16.8 points, 4.7 assists, Romeo Langford, Marcus Smart, 10.9 points, 5.5 assists, Juancho Hernan Gomez, Peyton Pritchard, Aaron Nesmith and Eames Freedom are other key rotation pieces for Yumadoka. Boston is 22nd in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 44.5% from the floor this season. The Celtics are 15th in the league in threes per game, as they hit 12.2 per contest, while they are 23rd in three-point field goal percentage, by shooting 33.7% from beyond the arc. Sam Hauser, Hernan Gomez, Horford, Jabari Parker, Richardson, Broderick Thomas and Grant Williams are all out in the health and safety protocols. The Cavaliers come into this one ranked 18th in the league in scoring offense, as they put up an average of 107 points per game this season. Cleveland is 15th in rebounding as they grab 45 boards per contest and stand 6th in assists by handing out 25.3 dimes a contest this year. The Cavaliers are 2nd in the league in scoring defense as they allow an average of 101.1 points per game this season. Darius Garland, 19.1 points, 7.3 assists, C.D. Osman, 11.4 points, and Ricky Rubio, 12.7 points, 6.6 .6 assists, are solid offensive options. Kevin Love, 12.2 points, Isaac Okoro, Evan Mobley, 13.8 points, 8.3 rebounds, Laurie Markkinen, 13.7 points, 5 rebounds, and Jared Allen, 16.8 points, 10.8 rebounds, are other contributors in the Cavaliers' rotation. Cleveland is 9th in the league in field goal percentage, as they shoot 46.3% from the floor as a team on the year. The Cavaliers are 12th by knocking down an average of 12.5 pointers a night, while they are 9th by connecting on 36% of their attempts from beyond the arc. Colin Sexton, 16.0 PPG, is expected to miss the rest of the season with a torn meniscus in his knee that he sustained November 7 against the Knicks. Allen, Mobley, Ed Davis, RJ Nembard, Okoro, Lamar Stevens, Denzel Valentine and Dylan Windler are all in the health and safety protocols. Our second betting advice is to pick under the total. Denver Nuggets vs Oklahoma City Thunder. The last game for the Nuggets was a victory over the Atlanta Hawks 133-115. They had four players score 20 or more points in the game, and rookie Bones Highland led them with 24 off the bench. Jokic had 20 points, 10 boards and 7 assists. Monty Morris and Jeff Green combined for 42 points. They shot an incredible 44.7% from deep, while knocking down 50-86 to 86 from the field. They will try to keep their shooting hot as they head to Oklahoma City Wednesday. Nikola Jokic is about to ruin Oklahoma City's Wednesday night. The Nuggets star center just has a way of impacting games on both ends of the floor. It's the reason why he's the reigning league MVP. I should note that Aaron Gordon is questionable to play in this game, but then again, the Thunder have struggled so much offensively that the Nuggets will still be in good shape. Oklahoma City has slipped all the way to dead last in offensive efficiency rating. They already have the league's worst scoring offense, and they're only averaging 41.3% shooting. That sort of offensive effort isn't scaring teams. Our first betting advice is to pick Denver Nuggets to cover the spread. Some will chalk it up to Memphis being off their game, and while there might be some truth to that, you have to give the Thunder credit for stepping up and getting a big win. They stuck to their defensive guns and held the Grizzlies to 38.6% shooting and only 99 points. That's the sort of effort it's going to take to survive a run-in with Nikola Jokic and the Nuggets. Joker can hoard rebounds all night long, but he's also an elite scorer and a master facilitator. A jack of all trades at the center position makes him a legitimate unicorn on the court but his scoring alone can't beat the Thunder. It's important to preface this praise by acknowledging the fact that the Nuggets were playing a Hawks team with the fifth worst defensive efficiency rating in the league. Oklahoma City isn't a great defensive team by any stretch, but they'll surely put up more of a fight than the Hawks. Opposing teams are averaging 44.5% shooting and 107.8 points per game against the Thunder this season. It's nice to see Nikola Jokic do joker things on the court, but it had to be even better for Denver fans to see Bones Highland break out off the bench for a team-high 24 points. The Nuggets clearly can't maintain that sort of offensive firepower, but if they can pile the points on Oklahoma City, they'll have no issues cruising to another victory. The Thunder might be better defensively than the Hawks, but they aren't coming close to matching their offensive capabilities. Our second betting advice is to pick over the total. 